Yo, it's Shock with DG. So today I'm going to be going over, um, in my opinion, what the best ways to rank up are. This is something I've been getting asked about a lot, especially in my Twitch streams. Uh, so I figured I'd make a video on it over here on YouTube. So the first tip I've got here, you know, the most important tip I could give you to rank up, no matter what rank you're at, is to play with at least three people in your squad. With three people, you're going to have the ability to decide where you go, which bombs that you go to, which operator you ban, because you've got the numbers advantage. Um, three over two. So you, you and your two friends are going to be able to pick, like, you know, again, like I said, the bomb site, the operator bands, stuff like that. Um, this is going to help stop trolls. You know, two people aren't going to be able to ruin your, your bands and, you know, the bomb sites you go to. You know, you're not going to be going big tower on Oregon first round instead of basement because you've got trolls on your team because you've got the mana advantage, right? Uh, so that's really important. Um, and also, like, uh, having three people, you know, you're going to be able to pick those important operators. So Thermite, Thatcher, you know, operators like that to help you get the wall open. Because chances are in ranked, a lot of your ra uh, randoms, they're going to just go Ash, Jaeger. They're not going to place any of their utility down. They're going to be, you know, roaming around, doing their own thing. So having those three people is so good to actually be able to push the site. You can get a lot done with three people. Um, so my second tip is to make sure they have communication, you know, of course with the people that you're queuing with uh, But even the randoms on your team So sometimes you get people who won't talk but letting them know what you at, what like you and your friends are calling out in discord can help them out a lot You know people often forget to call out to the randoms when they're playing with friends You know they're calling out just in discord or whatever, but this is gonna leave the randoms in the dark They're not gonna know what's going on in the round so they may not be talking but they're still going to be listening to what you're saying. So if you can call out to them, it's going to, you know, it's going to help them out a ton. Maybe they'll get some more frags. They can clutch up the round, something like that. So making sure you're talking to your teammates, even in game chat, is super important. So for the third thing I've got here, it sounds really obvious, but a lot of people do this. And it's going to ruin your chances of winning and ranking up. So you want to be sure that you're using your ability, your utility and your abilities, so your operator gadgets. So what I mean by that is like using your ADSs, you know, placing your barbed wire, making sure you reinforce uh, for attack. You know, you want to make sure you're using your drones. You want to make sure you're using your secondary gadgets, your flashbangs, your nades, you know, your smoke grenades, stuff like that. You know, and also just remind people that you're playing with to reinforce, you know, call out to them, say, yo, we need a wall here. Um, maybe place your barbed wire here. Just make sure that you're not too demanding with it. You know, just be a reminder to everyone in game. Don't try to be too demanding because that might come off wrong to your teammates and you don't want to make your teammates mad at you and kind of throw the whole game just off that. Um, so just make sure you're just reminding your teammates like, hey, we need to reinforce. Um, we need barbed wire down. You know, we need to rotate between site. Stuff like that. And that's going to help you win a lot more rounds. Reminding your teammates to actually use their utility is super important. So number four, I want to talk about roles a little bit here. So it's really important to know what your strengths and weaknesses are as a player. So if you have a really good aim um, and you can win your gunfights consistently, then you should be picking operators to support that. So you should be more of the fragger for your squad. You know, you're going to be picking operators like Ash, Jaeger, um, Doc, Jackal, Zofias, uh, operators like that. You know, maybe you're uh, not as good as winning your gunfights as maybe one of your other teammates. Um, you can't win your gunfights as consistently as one of your teammates. So maybe then you should try, you know, a flex or a support role. You don't need to have a lot of kills to have a big impact on the round. So, you know, picking an operator like uh, Thermite, Thatcher, Maestro, Castle, you know, those can all be super impactful in the round that help you and your team win and rank up. Um, so just be sure you're keeping that in mind. Uh, so lastly, I want to go over so making sure you're warmed up and your aim is the best it can be before you go into ranked. So that your chances of winning your gunfights and gains increases. Uh, so I made a video on this already going way more in depth. So I'll leave that in the description below. So you guys can have a full like in-depth video dedicated to helping you improve your aim. Um, but I'll quickly summarize this. Uh, like everything in that video in this video now for you guys. Um, but I do again recommend that you watch my other video. So you actually you know can see in depth what I'm talking about here. And understand it fully. Um, so the first thing I'd recommend find a good sense, find a good DPI, find a good in-game sense. Um, I, again, I went in depth on how you could do that in my other video, um, but just stick with it once you find your sense. I wouldn't recommend changing it at all. Um, and this goes for your aspect ratio and FOV as well. I would try and keep those the same, try and keep your consistency up. 
Um, and I would try out like bomb on plane, help with your movement a lot, um, help with your 180s, your 360s, you know, that can help your aim out a lot. Um, and lastly, I'd throw on a suppressor, an angled grip, or a no grip, you know, if the gun doesn't have an angled grip. That's going to increase your gun's recoil to actually help you um, control your recoil for when you're in game. You can practice it in T-Hunt. Um, so that's all I have for this video, though. So hopefully this helps you guys win some more games and rank up. You know, if you have any different tips or disagree with anything that I said, be sure to let me know in the comments. But I'll, as always, thanks for watching. I've got to kill them while they're repelling up. Server stairs, server stairs. Why are you going to server stairs? Well, actually, in, 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 in. in where? A bomb is located by Oscar. That's not server stairs. That isn't server stairs, by the way. That's called visa stairs. Another one. Oh my god. I just found a nasty angle. That's it then. Oh, last stop standing. It's about time the Xeno players do their jobs. There we go. That's crazy. No time. Why did this guy just watch them? Like a fucking idiot. Oh, oh my god. god. Ash recoil. Right side, right side. He's right. You see him? You see him? He's over there now. Yeah, there he is. There he is. One freezer. Maybe not. I'm just guessing. Just put your gun off there. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I did, but he just impacted him. Oh, yo. Yeah. Oh, another one piano, another one piano. Dead. Alright, toss him another one. Oh, no, I'm going to. Alright, you have concussions. Um, shoot one heaven. Shoot one heaven. Like, like deep, okay. Just go deep, just so we know. Yeah, right there. Shoot one deep, right there. Oh, that's a, that's a fucking impact. There's one in the rotate hole, like in the cockpit. Alright. I think it's on the. Yeah, I think we it's on the. All, we always kill everybody in bank. I like the one where. I like the one where I go skylight as a defender and then impact grenade the guy all the way into blue. Oh my god, that's a banger! Down to 10 seconds. That your stream is just never seen. No, they seen it. Yeah, they probably didn't oh, see it because. All, all the Hereford waterfalls, like we would do that every time. I was waiting. Oh, yeah. Land on top of the guy. Kill me, Chase. You have entered an enemy control area. Leave now. Your location has been compromised. Okay, well, that's Thermite dead. Nice. No! Oh my god, how does this guy not kill me? My, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I'm out of. I didn't reload. What is he doing? I don't know where that guy's going. What's going on down here, Shaw? Uh, there's a jackal caught. somewhere. He's no longer. Okay, I killed some other guy too. I don't know who I killed them. Find side debris, please. Op for last opportunity. If you remain in this zone, you will be detected by hostiles. You will be spotted. Op has located a bomb. Is he in sight? <laughs> Chase almost got it. Moving back! Goodbye. Op 4 has located a bomb. You, you <laughs> There's no way you almost got Why is this right there? There is no way. Wait, wait, wait. How many times how what do you think his HP was when I was done with him there? I think 
probably like like ten or something. Literally.